Hi folks, it's Mark here from Edinburgh Man Cave and this is the final update on the Panther, the Tamiya Panther A and my Back to My Roots uh, series. I will be continuing but it'll be another project which I'll show later in the video. So here it is, the final. It's been a, a nice journey doing this kit. Again, I've had a lot of praise on Facebook about it and we all know it's not the most accurate, it's not the most highly detailed, but for £15, you get a lot of, you can do a lot of stuff for £15 on this. This is a great tank to practice your weathering, chipping techniques, you name it, modifications, you name it, you can do it on this. For £15, that's mere pocket money. For beginners, I highly recommend this kit. Uh, it'll, you'll be proud of it at the end of it and how it looks, the way it looks. And there is things you can do to make it look better, which I'll go through. And I'll go through everything what I've done. And let's start off. I'll take the turret off. We started, as you can see, plastic card. It's all right, it's all in there. Okay, we asked for plastic card. I'll show you in the other one. What I mean, the unhappy face. So we use the plastic card to cover it. Not hard, just cut the same shape. I got ditch all calipers to work out the exact size. And just cut the card, go with it, done, job done. The other thing we done was the plastic card, was to hide in these bits. Again, I'll show you on the, the original. You can see just in there, see it right through. That's what we filled in. And as you can hear in the, in the man cave, it's raining in Scotland again. Of what? But as I say, we used a plastic card to hide it. You won't get 100%, but look, it looks a bit better than what it originally was. As I say, the other side was done. What I also done was to change all these bits to wire to make them thinner. Uh, I don't know if that was successful, uh, but the paint came off. I used Tamiya Metal Primer, um, but it, the paint just kept on coming off, so I don't know why. The other thing I've done, if I take my bit away, is a copy of this off his Spencer Pollard and Jonathan Mock. I uh, made metal handles there, grab handles. Also made the cover. That was from an old dishcloth. The PV, wet PV glue, I used the original or in a pen to get the shape. And I basically moulded it and stuck it in my PV glue. Then I used an airbrush with dark green and browns to give it that effect. What I done is with the uh, pre-shade, I used a mixture of uh, greys, blacks, natal black and yellow to give different tones. I think you can just see it there, coming through the base colour. To break up this, it was dark green and desert yellow 2 I used. They said desert yellow, but I prefer the yellow 2. I kept the wheels kind of clean looking. But I used dark brown, uh, dark iron, should I say, to dry brush the bolts and all the tools and everything like that. I also used a sand colour. You can see to highlight all the bolts. Might not be accurate, but it makes them pop. After then, the base curl was done and all the, free, the camo was done by freehand. I just copied what you can because you don't get any painting call outs or should I say any pictures really so you've got to make it yourself you can do research and copy what you're in but I just done it myself it looks good I'm happy with it and that's more than more than I'm happy with 
The other thing I done after that was I gave it a fat coat because there's not much in the way of texture or panel lines to get a wash. What I did was I got dirt, dirt from U, UMP and watered it down and used it as a filter by, I'll demonstrate, let's just say I've got the dirt that wash in the container, watered down and I just basically just done that and it was streaks. Left it to go dry, got a nice dry brush, stiff brush and if I can see it, I'll get the brush, yeah, like something like that, flat brush. And basically I done that with the dart and took as much off as I can. And it gives like a streaked effect, like the rain and all that, the muds came down. I'm not one for over wearing, I just like it subtle. Um, just to the point where it's not, it's been in the field maybe a couple of weeks, but that's about it. Now the tracks. These were the, the, the Achilles heel of this kit. The rubber band, you might see right there where the join is. I had a nightmare getting these on. The tension is far too much for this. As you can see, they still point outwards. Nothing I could do will change that. I've glued them with super glue. They are fixed, they're well, set now. You can just see there's a bobby super go there to try and force it. I ain't forcing it. That end, that eye, that drive socket, that snapped when I was trying to force it to straighten. So I'll get over it. The cheat to it is, it's trying to get the light in. I've put, I uh, here we go. See that? Cocktail sticks. I cut off uh, cocktail sticks about a centimetre long and drilled holes. You'll see the one in there now, right there. Three of them. And you'll just see it and no more. If I get the light right in, it's hard. There's one there. There's one there right there. So it just goes to about halfway in the track. Painted black. And if you for put the hole in, it forces the track down to give you that sag so that's what i done you might see it uh, there you go see there's one there and there's one there and there's one up here that was the way i got across the sag again needle backed round about it but it's down like that you're never going to see it you would actually physically need to pick it up like what i've just done there and have a good look the tracks were painted in dark iron with a steel dry brushed over them i got i used this set move it back this set of pigments on it i used the the rubble the gum metal and the track rust in them great wee set the other things i done was everything uh, the that does come up. See that the gun does move. That does pop up eventually. Yeah. Yeah. I got all the uh, hatches opened. The other thing I've done is the usual, like in my last video, the mesh on it. I did go over the mesh with NATO black and some smoke. I also went around the areas like here with a red rusty colour, airbrushed lightly, very thinned. I dry brushed everything with the steel um, on the edges. Again, I picked out the bolts. Might not be accurate, but it makes them pop. Uh, the other thing, the tools are all painted. Again, I, was, I gave them a wee wash with panel line. Black panel line and just wiped them off and I put the track rust on them to give it a rusted effect. The tow cable, I should have just made this out of normal uh, picture wire which I got told from Fesna which is on YouTube calling. He said he uses uh, picture wire, it broke there. 
I've done the old hot water. That actually is a quarter yet cut off. Uh, you get two cables. I couldn't get to bend, even with the hot water. As soon as this, it was flexible enough, but as soon as this tried to get the, the kink, what I had to get in, it just snapped. So that's now got multiple <laughs> super go in it at the moment, and it's just held on there and there. I don't want to touch it. It'll, it'll end up popping off. So that's the top part. The main gun. Again, I've got the hatches to open. That opens that side. Oh, like that. That one opens. I just went over here. As you see, I've done the net in. The decals went down fine. I gave them a, a brush of airbrush of very thinned, dark uh, red and brown uh, LP paints thinned down just to get a bit of rust. Uh, what I, the other thing I used, if I can find them. Oh, sorry. The AK pencils. I've got a pack somewhere. If I can find them. And I'll show you them. There they are. Sorry. Bear with me. The, this, what's the one? Dirt and Marks. The, you have, sorry. Streaking Dirt, Birth, Earth Brown, Concrete and Dust. Love a lot of pencils. You can see... You can can see the street marks down. And they were all just I just dipped the pencils in water and rubbed them on, brushed or oh, should say penciled them on. Let it dry for a minute and I had a dampened cotton bud, I just done that, put it down. I would say they're a game changer for beginners. Because if you don't like what you what you've put down, you just put water over it and water them off. If I had them six years ago, I would have loved them. But they are, they're great. The other thing I got done was this. The oil brushers, but this is the Starship Filth. Great for oils, um, with the diesel marks, oil marks, into the track, into the, the wheels and all that, and the hubs and all that. You just use Oda List in it, and it comes off, and it comes out to be pain. If you're a beginner, again, get this. That's what you do. A tiny wee dab. I've had this for years. And it's fine. So that is now... One other thing is I cut the tabs off because it was still jamming. So I could just place it. And there it is. All done. It only took me a baby. And honestly, if I was gone, I was going... I was break. I was doing this and I was doing another thing. Maybe a week to do. But I thoroughly enjoyed this. It's a great kit, and I know it's it's old, but the fun you can have weathering it and learning how to do weathering is brilliant with this. And look at it, it actually does look good. The only thing, the other thing I was panicking, I took photographs, put them on Facebook, I lost the light, but I found it, and I did update the photographs. But as a beginner, 10 out of 10, highly recommend, £15. Learn your what they call learn your chops your modeling chops on this. If you want to buy a more expensive kit with track links on it, go ahead. But get some get some of these cheap kits. This the the Mere Meerkaf and the British Chieftain they're all cheap. Even Abrams uh, Tammy Abrams kit is pretty cheap. Uh, learn your learn your chops on that. Then get yourself like a Meng, Tacom, uh, RFM or Right Field Models uh, kit if you want to spend that money. I've got them, uh, but I'm wearing the cheap way until I get to the big kits. And it's a great way. So this is it. The finished final reveal of the Tamiya 135 Panther A from 1969. And the next project I have got on the table is... This sort of thing. I'll quickly go through this before it runs out. I won't keep my videos short and sweet. The ICM World War One, one thirty fifth ambulance. I said in the last video I was going to do the French colour, which is the intermediate blue, which I've painted. I've done the inside. I done a wee bit of research. I actually watched that. 
they shall grow old and I did a wee bit of research about medicine back in that time we're all one. It wasn't the cleanest, so what I've done is I have, as you can see, I don't think I'll come at the camera. I've tried to get a wood effect panel effect by using the razor saw. And by that means I broke this one, which came in handy. Using the saw and doing that across the, the plastic and just wavering it a wee bit. It gives a white a green effect. I done it on the bottom. I wasn't going to do the top because you're not going to see much. Because all you're going to see is that. The windows and that and that's it. So I've gave it grabbed it up. You can get my wee pointer. Grabbed it up there. Made a bit grime, grim, ugh, yuck, dry blood. There is a wee bit of red in there, brown, you name it. A wee bit of rust as well. I thought we'd do that. Thought be that, like, that would be like the mud over there. And as you see, you're, not, you're only going to see it for this area. So that's, that's that painted. I'm going to highlight the panels, each panel, each one here. That's where the pedals go. They have to go to be a leather colour. Same here. Done the wheels. Done them last night. Just use a circuit template, as you can see in the background. Just done it like that. I think it's that one. Here it is. Just done that. Quickness. So the wheels are done. This is the main frame. I wasn't bored about overspray because you're never going to see any of this. Because there's the top part of the engine cover. And that goes in there. So you're not going to see the end of the engine. I've done different tones because I'm thinking, well, this is going to be metal. This is going to be, the, this is going to be thinner than this stuff. So that would be darker than that. So same with the, with this and so on. It's going to have a difference in tones because this is going to be wood panels and they'll take up paint quicker or different shades of tone, so it's not the same block colour. I was thinking this will be thinner. Again, I'll go around, there's a wee bit of overspray there. I've still got that to paint, but easily masked off and painted. So you see, I'm not gonna, I've painted all that black. I, I was going to do the engine and the, the exhaust, but what I've done is I painted it all matte black and I got medium grey and I dry brushed it. Some people say, oh, the exhaust is not uh, drilled out, but you're never going to see the exhaust. Oh, move the camera, wait, let me see. It's a focus and that's why. So you're never going to see it. See, yeah, there it is. It's not drilled out, but you're never going to see it. So that's that. Done. The front bit, front panel. I've done it with dark iron to make it uh, the so the EDM. Intermediate blue would be a more darker colour. That's why it's lighter there and there. That's meant to be a canvas colour, khaki, but I'm not too sure about that. He's trying to get a realistic canvas colour and to make it look like... Uh, focus. More like a canvas colour, but... Uh, I don't know. Uh, where's the other part? See, the, all the other parts are done. not much to this kit and there's the roof which I did yeah you can see it I've whitened it there and there and you can see it there but what I'm going to do is dry brush these and around there in focusing so I'm going to pick it up no. it's the same thing it's got like a wee bead going around there can hear it. Right. Now I've just got the back the underside today, but to be honest, that's going to be painted white and that'll be the canvas colour, but there's no much to it. It did fit well, it does go together extremely well. There you go. Yeah. It's a lovely little kit. I'm thinking of actually getting a couple of them. I'll show you in this what I mean about the scratching. There's the, uh, if I get a 
ba background. <clears throat> yeah, well, let's see if it does it. Put that up. You can see clearly see. There's not much to it. It's just a plain plastic. But what I got was, I got the razor saw out, and you can see it. You can see the ridges. And what I'm going to do is dry brush that, maybe with some lighter shade, so hopefully it'll fill in the grain of the wood. You can just see it in the area. It's not very coming out very good in the camera. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do too much, because it was just a fun wee build. Uh, to get going, but that's what I'm doing at the moment. After that, I think I might do the Aerosan. I'm still not comfortable doing the bikes uh, with the 2K yet. I really need to get the Lancaster for the group build on the mo model officer's mess. I need to start doing. I also have a 132 Fokker Wolf, the Revell one, which is still lying in limbo at the moment. So I've got that to do. I've still got the Hobby Boss A10 to build, so the cars and the bikes might get a back seat. Uh, but I, I might start, I might can't do this. I've built this. This is all built up. Here he is. It's all built up. It's not built up ready to go. I might take it apart and prime it, paint it, and weather it. Yeah, I've done this on lockdown. This is just a wee cheap wee kit. But they come apart very easily and they're quick to paint. Yeah, I've just got the nubs and all that just need to re 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 sanded and all that, but not much. But I might do this and get this done and dusted. This is from Aladdin, but I'm got a project that I might do. It's a car project. Um, he's got a YouTube channel called Rebels or Viper Rebels. I might get a Nissan, Tamiya Nissan Skyline and airbrush his YouTube channel name on the car and do the car. It's just a, another excuse to get a car, a car, but I really need to get in the mood for a car. Um, I've not been lately. I've been. I like these World War One kits. They're, they're cheap. They're only about fifty. This was only seventeen pound. You can get the Australian Model Ts, which I might get a collection of and start doing them. They're quick and easy. You can knock them up another weekend, and to your heart's content, you can uh, paint them. But that's the update, and this done and dusted. I'm going to carry on with this YouTube channel and I'll keep you updated. At the end of the video, there is a little video of YouTube channels. If you could subscribe, one of them's called Total Scale Models. They've got making models. You have Lisa's Craft Station. You have the Models Officer's Mess. And if you're into podcasting, he also does a podcast called Just Making Conversation on any podcast app. You'll find it. That'll be if you can look at that and have a look at the guys, please. If you could like, subscribe, that would be brilliant and knock the tank off. Because um, I've still got that competition with Sun, but he's on 178 at the moment. I'm on 50. I can't see me winning, so it looks like my, my bet and my deal's gone. But thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video.